Is there any of them that's kind of helped you that you've talked to during this process, like Boogie Cousins or Anthony Davis or anyone? And what kind of advice have they given you? And, and what has Coach Cal said to you recently about the transition? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, when I was at Kentucky, uh, a lot of guys, you know, come back and they play pickup with us and uh, give us a little message and talk to us. I mean, Carl Anthony Towns, he probably had one of the better me messages. I mean, he just says a long season, 82 games, uh, you're a rookie. Uh, it's going to be a lot of bumps and bruises, ups and downs, but uh, never, get, never get too high, never get too low. So, I mean, he just said to make sure you stay healthy and just make sure you come out and play hard every night. Uh, yeah, I mean, I talk to him a lot. I mean, you know, I talk to Bam, uh, Darren Fox. I mean, those, some of those guys that are kind of just got to the NBA, too, that rookies last year, so they kind of give me advice, too, as well. Hey, Kevin, over here. There's a lot of pressure with playing in New York. Would you say having an impressive summer league was a confidence builder for you heading into this season? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I had a pretty good summer league, uh, but, I mean, that's kind of over with now. I'm just kind of focused on uh, the season right now. Uh, I mean, but we all know summer league is a little bit different from the regular season, so it's a different environment, different players are playing against, uh, so I'm just kind of going with the right mentality. Kevin, while we don't know, and Chris Hobbs was just talking about, he doesn't know when he'll be back, but you guys finally had a chance to meet. What do you think of him as your teammate? What are your thoughts on the future of being able to play with him? I mean, yeah, he's a great person, a uh, great person to talk to. I mean, he's fun, and he likes to make jokes. Uh, but, I mean, I, I, as we all know, he's a really good player. So I'm really looking forward to just getting on the court with him, learning from him, uh, playing with him, and, and going against him in practice. I mean, just to learn different moves, uh, learn the terminology that he talks with. I mean, just to be on the court with him would be a great experience. Kevin, has Coach Fisdale given you a sense as to how you can have an impact right away on this team? I mean, yeah, I mean, me and Coach Fizz talk a lot. I mean, uh, one of the things he tells me, he wants me to uh, play freely. I mean, he does, he's not going to put no position on me. Uh, he kind of wants everyone to play positionless basketball. I mean, he's not going to put nobody in the box. So, I mean, he just kind of gets that message to everyone on the team, just to go out and do what you do best. Any other questions for Kevin? Kevin, what about playing in New York? Uh, are you looking forward to that challenge? How are you going to embrace it in that regard? Oh, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I mean, I can't wait to get in front of the fans. Uh, I know it gets pretty crazy in there, so I'm really looking forward to finally uh, stepping on the Madison Square Garden and be able to play in front of the fans. I mean, I, it's going to be a great experience. I mean, I'm up to the challenge. I mean, I know it, it's a hard place to play in, but I mean, uh, that's why I kind of been raised at. I mean, I, I work really hard to be where I'm at now, so I'm definitely uh, ready to embrace that challenge. Kevin, you've been vocal about the Knicks making noises offseason in addition to making the playoffs. What makes you so confident now you're with the team? And I'm sure that's heightened. Yeah, I mean, I just feel like we had one of the better summers out of any, any NBA team uh, this year, this, uh, this uh, upcoming season. I mean, with the work we put in this summer, uh, we got uh, everyone in great shape. I mean, the energy we have in the locker room, on the court. I mean, it's just fun to be around, and I feel like that we have a kind of a bond and chemistry that's going to help us on the court. I mean, we've been together all summer, uh, like 14 guys, uh, been in the gym playing pickup every day. So I just feel like the energy we have right now is it's going to uh, go on towards the season, and we're going to have a great year together. Kevin, over here. Do you have any personal goals for the season? Uh, yeah, I mean, one of my uh, personal goals is to win. I mean, that's kind of the only thing that's been on my mind this whole summer. It's going to be on my mind throughout the whole season, uh, just to get better as a player, uh, get better as a team, uh, get to learn each, each, everyone on the team. And, and my most ultimate goal right now is to win and get as many wins as possible. Kevin, okay, sort, sort of about that. Um, this, the way this roster is constructed, you're going to get a lot of playing time. Um, do you think rookie of the year is something that's attainable for you, something you want? Yeah, I mean, I think it's definitely something that, uh, that I have the chance to, to, to obviously get. Uh, but like I said, I mean, when is the number one my, on my mind right now? I mean, I don't really care about anything else right now. Uh, just trying to help my teammates win, help myself get better, help my team get better, and just get better throughout the year. Kevin, you had some nice words about uh, Frank when you played with him during the Summer League. Can you explain a little bit what makes it uh, special for you to play with him? 
Yeah, I mean, Frank, we all know, is a great defensive player. And uh, I think this year, I mean, this summer, he did a really good job of just having a different mindset on the offensive end. I mean, he's really more aggressive uh, this year. And pickups, we've been playing, coming off pick and rolls, being able to make plays for teammates, being able to get to the basket. Uh, that's something that uh, he got a lot better at this summer, just to have that confidence and mentality to get to the rim. Uh, Kevin, well, a lot of people still think the Knicks said probably have another year of rebuilding left. You, you've talked about the playoffs. You said it's that's your goal is to win. What, what would you say to people that think this team is still has another year left before it's ready to start winning? I mean, yeah, we have a new coaching staff, a new front office, uh, a lot of young guys. I mean, uh, we see the potential that uh, a lot of us players have, but. I mean, there's nothing wrong with rebuilding. I mean, uh, a lot of guys talk about it. I mean, uh, we just want to keep getting better every single game. Uh, we're going to come out and, and play hard every single game, compete. Uh, and no matter how long it takes, I mean, we're going to have the right mentality that we want to make the playoffs every year. Uh, that's the mentality we're going to have in the locker room. Uh, we don't really, not really worried about rebuilding or nothing like that. Uh, we know we have a lot of young guys. It's going to take time, but, I mean, that's not going to uh, affect us from going out every night and playing hard and competing.